Welcome back to another Ab the News. Today we have two subjects. First of all, the first is Abs the Untouchable Players. You can consider them like a franchise players. And finally, my second subject is Evan Dimidov Center. So let's talk about my first subject of the day. And I want to talk about the Abs the Untouchable Players, the franchise players. Player, I believe the Montreal are not going to trade and keep them a long term. And of course, if one Gretzky got trade in NHL, anybody can trade. I feel like those players are going to be the core for many years with the Montreal Canadiens. And the first player I want to talk about is the captain Nick Suzuki. Suzuki getting better and better year after year. Is the Iron Man third in NHL at this moment. Never missed any game since he joined the Montreal Canadian. But not only because he did not get any injury, he is an untouchable player, but is the way he carry on his behavior on ice and off ice. And I feel like he's right now the center number one with the Montreal Canadian. And he's just the beginning of his peak in NHL career. I feel like he's going to become better and better in the next three seasons. And that's the reason I feel like he's an undershable player with the Montreal Canadiens. We know he has a great year last season with 77 points, 33 goals, 44 assists for the captain, number 14, Nick Suzuki. My second player is the first overall pick in 2022, Juhai Slakowski. Slakowski last year reached his best year in NHL with a 20 goal, 30 assists for a total of 50 points. You can see after he joined Caulfield and Zuzki on the first line, it was a transformation player. It's just the beginning. This is a really where I'm getting excited about Zuzki. It's just starting to become a great hockey player in NHL, another untouchable player. And you can go to realize the next couple of years, not only the way Sakeski play on the offensive side of the game, but his physicality and the way he can make a difference a long term with the Montreal Canadiens. And that's another reason why they select him first overall pick in 2022 NHL draft. My third untouchable player is Evan Dimitrov. Of course, he was drafted a couple of weeks ago. Fifth overall pick. He can become an elite player in NHL. It's a little bit early to consider him that way, but I feel like he's undershable player because no players in the roster on the Montreal Canadiens or in the pipeline and the Montreal Canadiens look like Dimitrov. And you already know what Dimitrov could become in NHL. And that's the reason why I feel like he's an undershable player with the Montreal Canadiens, exactly like Zuzuki and Sakaski. And my last player is undershable for the Montreal Canadiens. This will be surprise you, but I have to go with the goaltender, Jacob Fowler. I feel like the 69 overall pick at the NHL Draft 2023 is going to make its friends a long term with the Montreal Canadiens. We know what Carey Price did for over 15 years. I feel like Fowler can become another great goaltender in the history of the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I don't see it's going to be like Carey Price, but if you look what they have right now, Montembeau, Primo, Tobesh, and then you have Volunkin, Miller. It's not exactly the same level of talent as Jacob Fuller. And if you want to build a great hockey team in NHL, you need some kind of the pillar. You, you need sometimes the core. And I feel like Fuller is going to be that kind of player with a Montreal Canadian. That's the reason an undishable player. He has an unbelievable year last season with the Boston College. They are my only four players on the showball right now with the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I'm going to give you other players where I feel like Montreal Canadiens are not going to trade them, but you never know. And I'm going to start with uh, Cole Caulfield. We know what Caulfield did already with the Montreal Canadiens, signing a long-term contract of eight years. He scored 28 goals last season and after a big injury. And now we feel like Caulfield is under players, could be untouchable. But for me, to be untouchable is a kind of player where is a next level. And I think Caulfield is not there yet. 
until he reached the 40 goal, the 45 goal consistency year after year. I feel like Caulfield is not there yet on the untouchable players. My second player, this is the first defenseman on this graphic, is Kaden Cooley. I feel he's really close to be an untouchable player, but I need to see more for Cooley. I think he could become a first pairing defenseman in the NHL. No doubt on my mind, but still, I need to be sure what Cody can do year after year with a Montreal Canadian, and that's the reason I consider him not there yet as an untouchable player, but I feel he could be the best defenseman a long term with a Montreal Canadian. My next player is Kirby Dock. Now, Kirby Dock is a big center 6'4". We know. What happening with him is a player with many injuries so far with the Montreal Canadian play only four periods last year, the year before that only 58 game, and until he is not play a couple of years with no injury and he can reach those number like 60, 70 points and to be a solid center number two, I feel like I cannot put him on the untouchable players until he prove it and he show it. It's just a moment of time to see what it look like could be that with a Montreal Canadian. My last player, I feel he's not going to be trait is David Rebacker, but he is not there yet to be an untouchable player. Rebacker draft fifth overall pick in 2023 by the Montreal Canadian. The expectation for him is I like Kaden Cooley. I think he could become a first pairing defenseman, but we have to wait. Uh, he's a 6 2. Play 11 game last year with the Laval Rocket with five points. I think uh, for me, when I see Rebacker, I think about Jacob Slavin with the Canada Hurricane. Some offensive inside of him and great on the defensive. Good shutdown defenseman, one versus one. Good on the physicality of the game. And he can win his battle in the corner. Put this all together with a great first pass. Can carry on the puck and he can join the rush and he is. Not bad at all on the offensive. I feel like Rebecca could become also with Caden Cooley or Cole Caulfield and could be that another player is untouchable with the Montreal Canadiens joint Sakoski, Fowler, Dimitov, and Suzuki. But what about other players, coach? I don't see any other players at this moment could become an untouchable player. Yes, players like Mayu or Jekai play a specific role with the Montreal Canadiens, but to consider them an untouchable players, I don't see this. I think they are the eight players are going to be core players a long term with the Montreal Canadian and the time will tell us. But I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about my untouchable players or the players not going to be traded by the Montreal Canadian. And that's conclude the first subject of the day. And let's move on for my last subject of this episode. My second subject of the day is about the event. Demitab should be a center. First of all, when I see Demitab, many videos so far, he remind me Malkin for the Pittsburgh Penguin is star. The way he carry on the puck, the way he move from left to right. Malkin is going to be all of famer. I don't know what Demitab is going to be in NHL, but when you look, Demitab is skating. And the way he carry on the puck is often I see the number 71 of the Pittsburgh Penguins. So I'm going to talk about the characteristic what it takes to become a center in NHL. We know Dimitrov is a six foot, uh, approximately six one, and 180 pounds. First of all, his hockey IQ is hockey sense. He is really good for Dimitrov. He can see the eyes really well. He anticipates the play well. He read the play great. And if you put this together, he can find his option passing example. This is another area of his game. He is really good. This is a one characteristic you need to have if you want to become a center in NHL. And he has it. His hockey son is hockey IQ. Second thing is a playmaker. I was just talking about is how he passed the puck. He can see the eyes very well. And the fact he carry on the puck, he then he stop, he slow the game in front of him, and then he look left and right. He see where he can pass the puck to a teammate, or he can move the puck more, or he can stop with the puck, and then he can sh sh change the direction. Put this all together. This called a playmaker if you are a center you love to have the puck on your stick and moving the pocket from 
north, south, or left to right. And of course, you like it to be a transition players. This is going to be another characteristic to become a center in NHL. The other thing he does very well is because he's a great stick and glint with a puck because of his hands. Really shifty, move the puck around. He can go from the left to right under uh, opponent players. He back off many defensemen because of his speed, but the way he's moving with a puck. And if you have a great stick and glint, you have a great hands, this is another characteristic that center like to have uh, to make him a better player in NHL. Then I want to talk about the way he carry on the puck from the defensive zone all the way to offensive zone. And when he is on the offensive zone is what he does with the puck. Put this all together. He's a great on the rush. He's great on the transition. And he's great to see his option passing, like I mentioned earlier because of his hockey sense, his hockey IQ, he's a playmaker, he have a great hands, put this together, that's the reason he loves to carry on the puck and that's another characteristic you need to have if you want to become a center in NHL. It's not perfect for Dimitrov to become center, he will need to improve two areas of his game. First of all, his face off. We know NHL, if you are under 50% on the face off, is not good. And that would be an asset what you need to improve and to practice more if you want to become center. That's just normal. Another area you need to improve, it would be his defensive zone. He's not bad already, but I think if you want to be a center initial, he will need to be sure he cover his men. You need to be sure you intercept the puck example. You need to be sure you do the right things on the defensive zone to helping your defenseman and to be a quicker transition player to take the puck and move to the another direction. This is where the middle, I think, would be good. But I think at this level, at the NHL, you need to be sure he can play at the highest level on the defensive zone, like Barkov, for example, and that will help him to be a center NHL. This is a two area you need to improve. And we need to see more of him if he wants to become a center because he already have hockey sense, hockey IQ, is a playmaker, he have a great hands, he's really shifty, and he likes to carry on the puck. And I don't talk yet about his shooting, I don't talk about yet skating because he already have it. He have a great accuracy, he can put a puck anywhere in the net. And of course, uh, his skating is not explosiveness, but he have a great edge work, can shift uh, from the left to right, so I'm not worried about his skating as a center. He need to become better on the face-off, he need to become better on the defensive zone area, but put this together, I believe Dimitrov could be a center, and he's a left shooter. Matroy Canadian, if you look about Suzuki, New Hook, Kirby Dak, Owen Beck, Kepanen, and Kuivo, our all right shooter. If you add Alex Neuk as a left shooter and you can put Sakaski sometime as a center is a left shooter, I think a Dimitrov shooting left will just improve and help the Montreal Canadian a long term. And if you put him with example Kirby Dog, but two centers can switch at the important face off on the left side, on the right side, or if you play with Nick Zuzuki, same situation, you have a left shoulder center like Dimitrov, and you have a Zuzuki, a right shoulder, and I think that's just helping Montreal Canadian a long term, and I feel like Dimitrov could become a center in NHL. That's it, that's all, my friend. This concludes another Ab Daily News. We talk about the abs, the untouchable players, and finally, we, we talk about can even Dimitrov become a center in NHL? Yes, leave me a comment below this episode. And of course, uh, don't forget, please, to subscribe, click on the likes, and remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody. <music>